Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to the quiz on the 21st century. I hope you've all brushed up on your knowledge of current affairs, memes, and the internet. We are here basically to start with a new format today. I have just explained it. So basically, we'll be giving the question to a team at a time. You'll discuss it internally, verbally give the answer, and then we move on to the next team if the answer is incorrect. So we will be rotating. The order of our teams today is team six, followed by team four, team one, team three, and team two. Uh, I have got a trial question, so we can just try out this new format. We'll start. This question will now go to uh, team six. Let me just put the slideshow on. So when I start the question, then team six, you all unmute yourselves. You all can discuss it, and then you all come back and mute yourself again at the end of the, after the answer is given or the bell rings and your time is up. So this is the quiz of the 21st century. So the first question, which is a trial question, I'll just go over the rules very quickly. You should add your team number before your name for everyone to identify you clearly. Unmute yourself on your turn and mute yourself after. As I mentioned, it's better for everyone in the quiz if no one Googles. This is working on an honor system. So I'm trusting you to basically not Google. I just want to do a sound check. So if anyone does not hear this sound I'm going to play right now, please just drop a message so then I can fix that before we start the quiz. Yeah, could you all hear that? Yes. Yeah, awesome. So yes. we'll begin now. This is a trial question. This is for team six. Okay. So the question for team six is, who was the first Premier League manager to test positive for COVID-19, leading to the suspension of the Premier League in March 2020? Mikel Arteta. Okay, Anyone so the answer given Arteta. by Ratan in Team 6 is Mikel Arteta, which is correct. So we move on to the next question, which is to Team 4. This is all still in the trial round. There are just three trial questions. I just have one question. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Can we, so can we do, do we have to discuss it on the call or can we discuss it on like a group, uh, you know? A WhatsApp if you all wish to discuss on WhatsApp or something, that's up to you. But again, I'm just requesting you all. You all can use your phones for discussing. You all can use uh, the Zoom chat if you all want to discuss one-on-one. -on -one. But try not to uh, Google. You can discuss verbally on the call as well. Actually, if you're giving your final answer, rather than saying Mikel Arteta like Ratan just said, I would prefer the team or anyone in the team to say your final an the final answer is Mikel Arteta. So I know you're talking to me and not to each other. Okay, okay. Otherwise, but it's cool if we if it's cool if we discuss on the group and give you one final answer, right? Yeah, yeah. But please, when you're giving your answer, say the final answer is Mikel Arjaka. Okay. Ooh, the next, next question to yeah. team four is: What was the first event held virtually by Calcutta Parsi Club following the COVID nineteen lockdown, and who was the celebrity caller? Howzi Viraf. This is my final answer. Yeah, Howzi with Viraf is correct. So that is, would have been ten points to team four. And I'll just go to the last trial question. Uh, for team one, identify these app logos. Sam, I don't know if these are the ones. Spotify, Shazam, Tinder. Spotify, Tinder, and Shazam. Yeah, uh, Spotify, Shazam, and Tinder is correct. Uh, just, uh, guys, I'm again requesting you to please say final answer because I don't know if you're discussing internally or not. Okay, so now we'll start with the actual quiz. You'll have figured out how it will work. We'll go team by team. You all mute and unmute yourself. Yeah. So we'll start now with team six. Uh, I have Raizan here on scores. So the first question of the quiz to team six is identify the two people in this iconic picture below. Uh, Zidane and Matarazzi. Final answer, 
final answer. Okay, Zidane and Matarazzi is correct. So that's I 10 points. Yeah. So the answer is Zinedine Zidane and Marco Matarazzi. The next question is to team four. Identify X pictured below. Who captained his side to the title in the very first season of the IPL in 2008 Shane and won. was the only non Indian captain that year? Shane won. Final yes. answer Shane Warne. Shane Warne. Final answer Shane Warne is correct. It is Shane Warne. He goes to see you to go. So that's 10 points to team four. We'll now have team one. So in 2009, Usain Bolt broke his own world record, running the fastest 100 meters recorded till date. What time did Bolt record, which is also the name of his autobiography and is referenced in the song Champion by Dwayne Bravo? 9.5 what, what record did he make? 100. I think it's 9.38. 9.38. Uh, time is up. The answer given was 9.38. That's incorrect. So I'll pass to team number three. 9.69 seconds, final answer. 9.69 is also incorrect. We'll go to team number two. Uh, final answer is 9.58. 9.58 is correct. So that's five points to team two. The world record as it stands is 9.58 seconds for 100 meters. Now we'll have a direct for quest question for team number three, which is who is pictured below at the 2008 Beijing Olympics, the first individual gold medalist from India? Final answer, Abhinav Bindra. Abhinav Bindra is correct. So that's 10 points to team number three. And the last question in this round for team number two is in 2011, India became the first country to win an ICC Cricket World Cup at home. Who was the player of the tournament? Someone answer. <laughs> oh, final answer, MS Dhoni. MS Dhoni is incorrect. That will pass to team six. Um, final answer, Yuvraj Singh. Yuvraj Singh is correct. So team six picks up five points on the pass. So that is the first round on sports in the 21st century. Uh, Raizan, do you want to give the scores now? I'll just verbally say the scores. We don't need to say it now. Team six with 15 points. Team four with 10. Team, four with 10. team one with zero. Team three with 10 and team two with five. So we'll move on to the second round now. Uh, we'll go back to team number six. Your question in round two. Military service is one of the four mandatory constitutional duties in South Korea. The only exemption to military service is for Olympic gold medalists or Asian Games gold medalists. Which famous South Korean claimed to have performed his military service from 2003 to five but was later accused of not doing so and was redrafted from 2007 to 9. His post-military career oversaw his meteoric rise to fame in 2012. Uh, okay, uh, Ji Sung Park, final answer. Lee Sung Park is incorrect. We'll pass to team number four. Hello, Nash. That's time for team number four. Pass to team number one. Time for team number one. We'll go to team number three. Was it the singer Sai of, Gang of Gangnam Sai? Sai is Final the correct answer. answer. So that's five points to team number three. So the next direct in this round goes to team number four. 
In 2017, a terrorist bomber at the Manchester Arena attacked after a concert by which famous American Ariana singer? Grande. Say it loud. Ariana Grande. Guys, okay Ariana. with that? Ariana Grande. Is everyone okay, okay with that? Yep. Yeah. Final. Okay, Ariana Grande is the correct answer. And she went back to perform a benefit concert in the same location. Uh, the next direct is for team number one. Kaun Banega Karurpati has been on air for over 12 seasons. Amita Bachchan has hosted every season bar one. Which Bollywood superstar is the other person to have hosted this show? Was it Shah Rukh Khan? Shah Rukh Khan is the final answer. Shah Rukh Khan final answer is correct. Who hosted season three? So the next direct is for team number three. Yeah, for team number three. Uh, identify the two characters below. Phineas and Ferb. This is final answer. Final answer. Phineas and Ferb is correct. And for team number two, the direct. The name of this song literally translates as slowly. And it is currently the most viewed video in YouTube history. Identify. Just discussing, but um, Despacito, guys. Yeah, go for it, go for it. Yeah, Despacito, final answer. Despacito is correct. So that's mm -hmm. 10 points to team number two. So we've gone through the second round. So we'll now have a break for the scores. Yeah. So Raizan, could you just share, share the scores on the screen? Okay, so we have team three in the lead with 25 points, followed by team four with 20. And then we have teams six and two on 15 and team one on 10. So now we go into round three. So we'll start with the direct to team number six. On 9th October 2012, Madonna performed at the Staples Center in LA where she encouraged everyone to express yourself, don't repress yourself. She dedicated the song to Dash, who was in the news earlier that very day and then turned her back to the audience to reveal Dash's name on her back. Dash is now listed as one of Time Magazine's 100 most influential people and has even won a Nobel Prize. Identify that, that person. Who would have been in the news on 9th October 2012 and has since won a Nobel Prize. Ten seconds. So we go to team number four. Anyone from team four? Is it Barack Obama? Barack Obama is incorrect. We pass to team one. I think it was CeeLo. Silo is incorrect. We go to team three. Was it Bob Dylan? Bob Dylan is incorrect. And team two? Uh, was it Malala? Malala Yousafzai is the correct answer. So that's five points on the pass to team two. The direct for team four. Identify this machine, which is only used for a very specific occasion and remains inactive at all other times. It was last used in 2013, and before that, in this century, it was only used in 2005. Hint, it is found in the smallest sovereign state in the world. This 
South Sudan. South Sudan is correct. So that's ten points to team number six. The next direct is for team four. In December two thousand four, over seventeen hundred people were killed when a crowded passenger train was destroyed on the coastal railway in Sri Lanka, making it the single largest rail disaster in world history. What simultaneous occurrence was responsible for this tragedy? But quick. Guys, is it earthquake? I think so. Uh, okay, then final. I think, I think no. It was a tsunami. December two thousand four. Okay, so say yes, what? Yes, yes, tsunami, tsunami, tsunami. Final answer: okay, okay. tsunami. Tsunami. I'll give points for that. It was the Indian Ocean tsunami on twenty six December two thousand four. Good going, Dave. Good going. Okay, Next is team one. In 2012, which author wrote the book *The Casual Vacancy*, their first novel for adult readership? J.K. J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling. Final answer. Final answer. Final answer. Yeah, J.K. Rowling is correct. This was her first non-Harry Potter book that she wrote. and the question to team number 3 where would you find this image of india's first interplanetary space mission mangalyaan on a stamp on a stamp. final answer on a stamp on a stamp is incorrect we'll pass to team number 2 2000 rupee note final answer the 2000 rupee note is correct this is on the back of a 2000 rupee note So that's five points to team two, and we'll now the last question is round to team two. 
the founder of this e-commerce company explained that he named his company X after this fictional character because people from India, people from Germany, people from Tokyo and China all know about X. X is not a thief, but a kind, smart businessman who helped his village. Identify X. Five seconds. Virgil Abloh, final answer. Pardon, could you repeat that, sorry? Virgil Abloh, final answer. That's incorrect. We'll pass to team six. Uh, Alibaba. Alibaba is correct. It's Jack Ma who named it, his company Alibaba. So that is the end of round three. Raizan, could we have the scores online? So we have the scores on your screen. We have team four and team two with 40 points, team three with 35, team six with 30, and team one with 20. So we'll now reverse the order of the questions for the next three rounds. Uh, so we'll be starting with team two, three, one, four, and then six. So we'll have round four, and the first question of which goes to team two. Identify these two once popular file sharing websites. Um, guys, the first one is LineWire, the second one. Oh shit, these are past. These are past questions, right? <laughs> Uh, last five seconds. Do you get half point for Is is that your final answer? Yeah. Yeah. So you'll get half point for Lime Wire. So that's the first one. So that'll be five points. We'll be passing the second one. Uh, team three. Do we have to say both? No, the lime wire one is gone. Okay. Um, something to do with a cat? Napster. Uh, Napster final. Uh, Napster, is it Napster? Napster is correct. So that's two and a half for the pass for to team three. Now it's team three. It's your direct question. Identify this viral internet dance from 2013. Your time is ticking. Was it Gangnam? Was it Gangnam style, guys? I don't know. Gangnam style, final answer. Let's go with it. Gangnam style is incorrect. We'll pass that to team one. Clash dance. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Team one, I need your answer. Go for it. Ghostbusters. Catman. 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 That's incorrect. We'll pass to team four. A uh, final answer, it's the Harlem Shake. Harlem Shake is correct. So that's five points to team four. Next direct is two. 
team one, there are only two YouTube channels which have more than 100 million subscribers. One of these is an Indian music record label, while the other is the Swedish YouTuber whose real name is Felix Kelberg. In 2018, they were both in close competition for the top spot, leading to a subscription war between the two, with one releasing diss tracks about the other. Name these two channels. 20 seconds have started. PewDiePie and T-Series. PewDiePie and T-Series, final answer? Yes. That is correct. They are T-Series and PewDiePie. And they were in a war about who would end up with more subscribers. They are the two most subscribed channels on YouTube currently. That's 10 points to team number one. The next direct is to team number four. This is a picture of a view of the Sonoma Valley in California. Where else in this is this scene, making it one of the most viewed images in the world? Guys, is this area 54? Rush, is this the Mac uh, desktop wallpaper one? It's seen the most on that. That could also be the answer. Let's go with so, that then. So Rush, let's go with that. Final? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I need an answer. What's your yeah, answer? Yeah, that's the final answer. It's seen on the Mac screen. Wallpaper. I, I can't accept that, but I will pass it to team six. Um, is it the wallpaper of a Windows laptop? A Windows desktop wallpaper? It is the Windows wallpaper. The image known as Bliss. That's five points to team six. And the direct in this round for team six is in 2014, the ice bucket challenge went viral to promote awareness for which disease? Uh, ALS. Yeah, I, I will accept it's ALS. Uh, I can't say the first word properly, amyotrophic <laughs> lateral <laughs> ciliariosis. It's also known as motor neuron disease or Lou Gehrig's disease. It was the ALS ice bucket challenge. So the points right now, can you just verbally tell me? Team six, team four, and team two are on 45 points. Team three are on 37 and a half. And team one is on 30. So it's still anyone's game. So we'll move into the next round. And we have the first question to team two. The question to team two, from which TV show did this meme originate? The 20 seconds have started. Guys, go for it. 10 seconds. Now you guess. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Final answer. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is correct. That's 10 points to team number two. Yeah! The direct to team number three. Which person in real life is depicted in this meme below? Dr. Phil. I'm, I'm, no, not, not Dr. Phil. Um, where was it? Go with it if you're not sure. 10 seconds. No, it's not Dr. It is not Dr. Phil. I'll need your answer, team number three. That's time. We'll pass to team one. Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil, I will I can't take that. We will pass that to team number four. Uh, the final answer is Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey is correct. So team four gets five on the pass. So we'll now have a direct for team one. From which movie did this meme originate? One does not simply. Is this team four's? 
This is for team number one. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Uh, I am going to ask for the specific one. If no one gets it, I'll come back and give it to you. But I need the specific Lord of the Rings movie. Because it's a, it's we guessed. Second part. Second part. Only do it. Uh, I I'll need the answer now, or I'll pass it. Team number one. Hey, right, could you repeat? Lord of the Rings. Second part. Final answer. Uh, I will pass that if I get a better answer. I will take it. Otherwise, I will come back to team number one. Team number four. Uh, What's half of the rings? The Fellowship of the Ring. Final answer. That is the movie name. So I will have to give the past marks to team four. Give us half marks. <laughs> But the movie is not called Lord of the Rings Two or Lord of the Rings Second Part. But it's called Lord of the Rings, so half marks. Is great. Yeah, don't argue with the quiz master, please. Uh, okay. So the next one is for team number four. From which TV show did this meme originate? Ten seconds. This is the direct for team four. Guys, team guys, four, is anyone any idea? No, no, no idea. It's time it that passes to orange? team six. That now no, passes. Can I can I answer it once, uh, Raisan? Yeah. Uh, Raisan, sorry. Uh, I think the red. I think uh, time 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 went. I I did give you the full twenty seconds okay, and fine, a bit. Fine. Team six. Uh, key and peel. Key and peel is correct. This is from Key and Peel, and the direct for Team Six is which female name has been made into a meme and is now most often used as a pejorative slang term for an angry, entitled, sometimes racist white woman who uses her privilege to demand her own way at the expense of others. Karen. The name Karen. Final answer. Yes. Karen is correct. That points to team six, and we'll have the scores now. By the way, what is thirty-seven point five? Half my similarity. That's for the half the question that passed for the Napster. So we have team six with sixty, closely followed by teams two and four with fifty-five, teams three on thirty-seven point five, and team one on thirty. And we go into the last round, which is identify the voice. Okay. So I'm going to play a clip for each team, and you need to tell me the person who is speaking in that clip. So the first question goes to team number two. I need you to identify this voice. Your time will start when the clip ends. Our economy has become more stable. Fiscal deficit, uh, fiscal deficit is down. Inflation rate is down. Current account deficit is comfortable. The currency is stable. Can you all hear the audio? And the foreign exchange reserves are at a yes, record. Yes, yes, yes. It's really clear. Okay, your time starts now. Team two, your time has started. Uh, sir, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, final answer. 
Narendra Modi is correct. Press the direct points to team two. The question for team number three, identify this voice. Adam Smith's central insight remains true today. There is no greater generator of wealth and innovation than a system of free enterprise that unleashes the full potential of individual men and women. Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Barack Obama. That is what led to the dawn of the information age. That is correct for team two, so you get your direct points. Team number one, your direct question. Yeah, now Sorry, uh, apologies. Points for team three. Correct. Sorry. Uh, team number one, your direct question. Saying about you, but I don't think that uh, this scares, this uh, scared politics, this agency politics yeah. will be success for permanent uh, matter. I don't think so, because this government became the agencies of the government, agencies of the people uh, of the government by the government for the government. Mamta Banerjee, I find. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mamta Banerjee is correct. Uh, that's direct points. Uh, apologies by mistake, clip number five played. So I'm just moving clips number three and four down on one. If that's okay with everyone. So then I'm going to give this next direct clip number three to team four. Identify the voice. Everything that I've said is correct. I have Our economy said to has the police my side stable. of the story, they are completely satisfied. I have cooperated with the investigation under the notice which was given to me yesterday. And uh, every I... single question I have put, Our... including some facts which I have presented, some Sita, evidence Arnab. which I have presented here today. Arnab, Arnab, Arnab Goswami, Arnab Goswami. Final answer, Arnab Goswami. Arnab Goswami is correct. That is the direct points to team number four. And we'll now have the direct question for team number four. Look at this passing now. Passing away. Just has to be more TV. Yellow unmuted. I have drawn great <laughs> comfort from so many individual acts of kindness and respect. Over the years, I have met many people who have had to cope with family loss sometimes in the most tragic of circumstances. So I count myself fortunate that my mother was blessed with a long and happy life. Queen, six, your answer. Uh, Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth II is correct. Absolutely clear that everything that I have said is correct. I have said to the... This man doesn't stop speaking on the quiz also. Uh, so that is the identify the voice round. And we'll now have the scores from Raison. The six rounds, the quiz results are team six with 70, team four and team two tied on 65 and team number three with 47.5 and team two, uh, team one with 40. So that is the quiz. Now I just wanted before we end everything, uh, I just wanted to ask everyone for some feedback regarding how they like this quiz versus the normal quiz where every team answers every question or do you prefer it this way? Because here it definitely moves much faster with everyone muting and unmuting yourselves compared to everyone answering and then browsing through it. Uh, and the only thing is you don't get an opportunity to answer questions you might know and you could not know your direct, but that's how normal quizzes work anyway. So just some general feedback on the quiz formats compared to the earlier quizzes where we had right at the beginning, where only the first person to give the correct answer gets the point versus where every team to give a correct answer gives a point and where you can give multiple correct answers or also right now where each team gets their own question. I think this one was better. This was yeah, very good. good. Was good. Was this was the best till now. Rian Astadia, this format is much, much better than the other one. Seriously. It's much better. Yeah. 
Yeah. A lot okay. better. But you should have uh, you should have allowed Wat to set some of the questions also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this format is actually Benny and Ratan's idea uh, because now we feel that everyone is more comfortable with Zoom and can mute and unmute themselves as their questions come. So perhaps this is a format that can be done now in quizzes in the future. It's actually, it's actually Benny's idea. I'm just the messenger. No, it could have been a little longer, Priya. It could yeah. have been a little longer. For so this format, yeah, this, we need more questions. Yeah, the thing is, I, I is in Team I, Six. Ratan is in Team Six. Yes. His name was not there. How's he in Team Six? <laughs> Organizer's privilege. Chori. Huh? I didn't answer any questions. This is a 21st century quiz. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one feedback is yeah. So with this format, the quiz should be a bit longer because 30 questions in the old format would take an hour, an hour and a half. But over here, it goes much, much faster. So perhaps we could have instead of six rounds, ten rounds or something where. Each team gets the correct answer. Uh, a bit of feedback from my side is that if you're hosting the quiz like this, then perhaps we should have the number of teams pre decided because we can't wait till the last day to know should I make five questions per round, six questions per round. So, like maybe we could have the teams, or instead of having the same teams which we've had for every quiz, like everyone gives their name and we make the teams, we pick people into different teams. So, we dissolve team two and dissolve team six. But how will Team Six? How will Team Six win then? Team Six will win regardless of where they are. If there are going to be five teams, how will Team Six win? Yeah, and Team Six will still win with that good. <laughs> yeah. So that was just some feedback. So I hope you all enjoyed yourself. I'd like to thank Raisan a lot for helping with setting the questions as well as also doing the scoring and timekeeping while the quiz was going on. Thank you to Ratan and Benny for their assistance and giving us this opportunity. And of course to Parashi Club for genuinely keeping us well entertained during lockdown, which went on for a really long time. Thank you Rian, great quiz. for hosting the quiz. You've been the best quiz master. Very uh, quick with all the questions. And the scoring, Raisan, very well done. Thank you. We had a real fun quiz. Can you please host one again? Get Raisan on screen, no? Well done, Rian. You like the format. Thank you. Uh, thanks, everyone. Uh, so, perhaps we could have another quiz like this. Uh, I think Spenta is also hosting a quiz in the upcoming weeks. So, she could also consider using this format. Next so week. So, this feedback from everyone is much appreciated. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you, Rian. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your Saturday evening. Well done. Bye.